Hey guys, Dr. Jason Fan here with Dr. Pimes and uh, we wanted to do a little fireside chat around viruses. Um, there's plenty of viruses out there. Coronavirus or COVID-19 is probably the main one right now that everyone's scared and kind of worried about. But there's a plethora of viruses out there from infectious viral diseases and more of the, the common viruses. So Dr. Zan, let's, let's kind of go into COVID-19 and the different viruses that we kind of see throughout the clinic. Certainly. So um, COVID-19 is one of many different coronaviruses. Uh, this one in particular enters through the lungs and is passed through respiratory droplets. So uh, any, any liquid that's coming from when we speak, when we talk, share drinks, etc., which is why our social distancing has become so prevalent. Um, keeping at least 10 feet away from other people makes it so that your respiratory droplets can't possibly reach the other person. Um, every virus has its own kind of mode of transportation, whether it's respiratory droplets or um, through uh, blisters or rashes that can pass through other people or sexually transmitted. Um, bloodborne, yeah. But, uh, or bloodborne. Um, but each one is essentially just a packet of DNA and it needs our cells to be able to replicate itself. Um, but that entry point is just going to be a little bit different depending on which virus we're talking about. In this case, it enters through the lung tissue before it goes into systemic circulation. Here's my main thing, and uh, I'll have my clinical opinion about it as well, but do you believe everyone is going to have COVID-19? Um, meaning H1N1 or influenza, you know, a lot of people have different strains of influenza through the body and potentially creates antibodies towards it. Do you think everyone's gonna get COVID-19 eventually? That's gonna be a tough one. Um, likely, we're gonna see it spread. Uh, it's already spread quite rapidly, but um, most people will come across it at some point or another. What remains to be seen is if COVID-19 uh, is going to be able to change up its uh, DNA structure like flu, uh, where we're seeing a different one come about every season, or if we're going to be able to gain immunity and not have to worry about it anymore. So it's either going to have to come down to vaccination or exposure. Um, and so we'll have to kind of wait and see how things are looking with that. Yeah, I think if it's COVID-19 is respiratory droplets, it's going to be very uh, similar to the flu and transmission. So I believe that everyone's going to potentially get COVID-19. Um, if you produce symptoms, it's going to be different from if you're actually asymptomatic. And then death rates are going to be varying uh, upon that as well. So that's what gets interesting. I think uh, with the more data that comes out through the next couple of months, the next couple of years, the majority of people are going to get it. And hopefully it doesn't replicate, so we do have herd immunity. But, um, but yeah, like let's dive into the different viruses we see and the different viruses that actually we see on a daily basis and not really COVID-19. Um, explain a little bit of that. So we see a lot of different viruses in the herpes virus family. So a lot of people think about herpes as just HSV-1 or 2 or the ones that cause some sort of um, outbreaks, uh, visible rashes like that. Um, but there's a lot of other herpes viruses we see. We see CMV or cytomegalovirus, EBV or Epstein-Barr virus. Um, herpes virus 6, uh, even varicella or shingles, chickenpox, um, is a herpes virus as well. So what these viruses all have in common is that they are um, spread through respiratory droplets uh, and they hide in nerve roots and can be very, very difficult to um, get rid of. Um, because as soon as you start to kill off the virus, it starts to retreat back into a nerve root and goes dormant until your immune system is weak, at which point it will drive itself back up, which is why for viral illnesses in particular, uh, we really want to emphasize um, that patients really get good sleep to be able to repair and mount an immune response. We wanna make sure their nutrition is optimized so that we can decrease a lot of that sugar intake that feeds a lot of these viruses. Um, and we have a lot of other things we can do naturopathically 
um, through supplementation and IVs to really be able to uh, get rid of these viruses and boost your own immune capacity to be able to terminate them. Um, yeah, we do a lot of high dose vitamin C, which is an oxidative therapy in the bloodstream to actually eradicate um, a lot of um, viral infections or viral load in the body. Ozone therapy does the same thing, ozone gas. Um, that's actually mixed within your blood and actually pressurized back into the bloodstream to kill any viruses or bacteria or um, spirochetes such as Lyme. So I think that's a good little basis of viruses and COVID-19 versus common viruses that we normally treat um, that are pretty, inf not infectious, but they lay dormant into the nerve roots and actually cause long-term chronic disease uh, in a lot of patients. So uh, check out Live if you have any questions and see you next time.